just like so much more advanced and and on on that side of the argument it's like okay well maybe we're um you know, maybe we're only a couple of big steps away from uh from 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 reaching something that looks more like general intelligence once again mark zuckerberg is shaking the tech world but this time he's not alone he's up against sundar pichai of google and even open ai the stakes nothing less than the future of artificial intelligence and just when you thought you knew where this was going meta drops a bombshell their new llama 2 model is open source if you're scratching your head wondering what that means don't worry we're diving deep into why this could be meta's secret weapon or humanity's ticking time bomb first let's talk about zuckerberg's earth-shattering llama 2 an AI tool that's rewriting the rules of software development. Imagine an engine that can generate software in any programming language you desire. You think it, and Llama 2 writes it. Even with GPT 3.5, it was possible to write code, but it was at a fairly intermediate level. One of the strongest tools on the market today is Microsoft's Copilot. The most powerful productivity tool on the planet. Which does all the work for programmers. So the question arises, what sets Llama 2 apart? Firstly, it's sheer power. Ars Technica's headline says it all. 10 Xcoders beware, Meta's new AI model boosts coding and debugging for free. Secondly, unlike most other models, this one can be installed directly on your computer. For instance, to use ChatGPT, you typically have to visit their website. However, Meta changes the game by allowing you to install their model wherever you want. They offer three different versions and the smallest one, boasting 7 billion parameters, can even run on a budget laptop with a single GPU. One advantage of this approach is enhanced security. By running the model locally, you mitigate the risks of online exposure, effectively eliminating concerns about unauthorized data access or surveillance. Meta is very proud of these results. Currently, the model outperforms GPT 3.5, but not quite GPT 4. However, Meta presents an intriguing argument GPT-4 is an amalgamation of multiple models, resulting in higher runtime and lower efficiency. In contrast, the Llama 2 model is a singular entity and operates at a much faster speed. Consequently, when comparing models on a one-to-one -one basis, Meta contends that its Llama 2 model is unparalleled in performance. Now let's unravel the mystery of open source. We'll take the definition from Wikipedia. Open source refers to a computer program in which the source code is available to the general public for use or modification from its original design. For instance, consider your smartphone. Its code is not open source, meaning you can't easily understand or modify how it operates. In contrast, with open source code, anyone can read, understand, and even modify the software. This open approach offers significant benefits such as allowing the community to identify and fix security vulnerabilities. Now let's ask the most interesting question. How does someone like Mark Zuckerberg offer his software for free? And even more than that, if we're looking for someone who appropriates our rights on his platform, it's Mark Zuckerberg. Every post, picture, or story belongs to Mark Zuckerberg and Meta. So what's the rationale behind this move? Why is Zuckerberg taking this approach? We have two key questions to address. First question, why open source? The initial reason comes directly from Zuckerberg himself. He asserts that open source fosters innovation by enabling a broader community of developers to create products using new technologies. Additionally, it enhances safety and security as the open nature of the code allows for more scrutiny, helping to identify and rectify potential issues. The second reason pertains to Meta's current standing in the industry. What Zuckerberg isn't openly admitting is that Meta is trailing in the AI race. This move could be a strategic effort to engage the programming community, thereby gaining a competitive edge against Google and OpenAI. However, many speculate that the third reason is even more cunning, to eliminate the competition altogether. By making the code accessible to everyone, it's likely to become widely adopted. However, the reality reveals another motive. The model has already been leaked. In March 2022, due to an unprecedented oversight by Meta, the model was accidentally made public. Given that the model is already out in the open, it's essentially accessible to anyone, isn't it? Meta's response? Well, let's make the code open source, as it's already widely accessible. 
Now let's tackle the elephant in the room. Is making AI open source a dangerous game? This is arguably the central question of this video. We'll begin by examining an article titled, Why Meta's Decision to Make Its New AI Open Source is More Dangerous Than You Think. The article argues that this could be a monumental mistake, a sentiment echoed across major media outlets. If we take a closer look at OpenAI, their initial philosophy was to make their models accessible to everyone. However, they reversed course in 2022, opting for a closed source model instead. Even their chief scientist, Ilya Sutsgiver, admitted, we were wrong, completely wrong. If you share our belief that AI will eventually evolve into AGI, artificial general intelligence capable of performing any intellectual task, then making it open source is not just illogical. It's a terrible idea. I am fully convinced that in a few years, the consensus will be that open source AI is simply unwise. As these models become increasingly powerful, the risks of exposing them become too great to ignore. If we consider the perspective of Elon Musk, one of the co-founders of OpenAI, he contends that these models are so potent that it's crucial for everyone to understand their workings. This raises an interesting question that was even posed to Musk himself. If you're the one declaring this technology to be so perilous, then why did you help found the company? In response, he stated, OpenAI was initially intended to be open source, but it evolved into a closed source entity under Microsoft's control. That was never my intention. According to Elon Musk, AGI will likely become a reality by 2029. Now let's briefly discuss nuclear weapons. Officially, only nine countries possess them, primarily because they are incredibly challenging to produce. This isn't the kind of weaponry that a criminal organization or terrorist group could easily manufacture. However, the story is different for biological weapons. These models could potentially instruct on how to create such weapons, posing a genuine threat the implications are deeply unsettling. While some draw parallels to nuclear weapons, biological weapons are equally horrifying and far easier to produce for those with the know-how. It's worth noting that today's artificial intelligence has remarkable capabilities in molecular assembly and predictive analysis. The advent of Meta's Llama 2 represents a seismic shift in the landscape of artificial intelligence and coding. From its unparalleled performance in coding tasks to its open source nature, Llama 2 is poised to democratize AI, offering unprecedented access and capabilities to developers worldwide. Yet, this democratization comes with its own set of ethical and security dilemmas that cannot be ignored. As we stand on the cusp of an AI revolution, the choices we make today, be it embracing open source models or opting for more controlled environments, will indelibly shape the future of technology and, by extension, humanity itself. Whether Llama 2 will be Meta's secret weapon in the AI arms race or a ticking time bomb for society remains to be seen. What is certain, however, is that the conversation around these transformative technologies is far from over, and their impact will be felt across various sectors, from software development to national security. So as we navigate this uncharted territory, it's crucial to stay informed and engaged continually questioning the ethical implications and long-term consequences of these powerful tools. If you've watched this video all the way through, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below to let us know you've gained some insights from the content. Want to show some extra support? Consider using the Super Thanks feature. Your generous contribution helps us continue producing informative content. For more interesting topics, subscribe, and make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.